Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, tonight I'm going to uh, reinstall these handlebars, this stem, and I guess these little bar ends or bull horns, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to reinstall all this stuff on my 2010 Trek. Uh, FX 7.3 <clears throat> I transferred uh, my bars my stem and my grips from my uh, 2016 Raleigh Redux 1 over to it because I thought I wanted the wider bars and and all that but it's I don't know I think I'm just gonna revert it back to what it was and also I think I'm going to put the bike up for sale and so it will have the original parts on it. So let's get to work on that and see how it goes. Alright guys, <coughs> let's see if we can get these grips off. They never were real, really on there all that great. So, got them off. I had a bike stand, but I do not, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I do not have a bike stand. So let me get my little multi-tool here out. Loosen up the stem bolts first. Uh, let's see. see if this will work. You know, I'm I'm not a professional bike mechanic by any means, but I really enjoy trying to do what little bit I can. And really, uh, I feel pretty confident, uh, really, with messing with any of it. I feel pretty confident. I just wish I had some more tools. I'd like to take my bottom bracket apart and, and all that stuff. And... take my little camera mount off soon enough um, yeah. I'll, I'll just leave that like that I can slip my other I can make do with that um, and we'll take off the this one here. I don't use any torque wrenches or anything like that. Uh, I really think that's it's kind of overrated. Maybe if you had carbon, it would be more of a concern. Uh, my opinion is you don't have to worry about crushing aluminum too much. It'll be interesting to see how this feels again after having these on for so long. 
because it, it definitely changed how it felt and I don't know if it I don't know if, if I really even liked it as well I thought I'd like the wider bars but I think it kind of I think it changed it a little bit and plus this stem this stem is quite a bit shorter than the original stem that came on there so I think that made a big difference as well wasn't totally happy with it I don't think I'm gonna do it. That's for the bars. I'm so crazy. Ooh, up this way. Make sure you got it turned right. I'm being a little rough on it. It's just a pretty tight fit. I got a little rubber mallet I could use. But that's not fun. could have taken all this apart my whole headset and cleaned it out and re it and everything but I ain't gonna mess with all that no reason just more work and I'm not gonna tighten these up all the way I'm just gonna get them just to where they're in been wanting to do this for a while it's just I kept putting it off and I don't know you know how it is you put stuff off and put this back on We'll see. Yeah, could clean these off a little bit. See how they see if they go in there. Yeah, they go in. There we go. That'll take me a little bit to probably get this right. Could put them down like that. Rum, rum. But I won't. I don't really have any marks on here, so that kind of stinks. I'm gonna have to just guess. Just gonna have to guess. since these bars are shorter 
I shouldn't have any problem getting my levers back on. Barely tighten them up. Yeah, that's that's pretty different. Uh, I may have to take those off though. A little pin caps or something. I forgot. I'm gonna put some. I'll probably put them grips I just took off back on here and just cut them or something. I'll make them work. Tighten it up just enough to hold it on there. Oh yeah, yeah, they went on smooth. And I'll adjust these in a minute once I get things done. See how it goes. Really need a bike stand. That would be nice. Okay. So, I think I'm just going to cut the ends off of these, even though these are my Rally, these are off my Rally Redux, I hate to cut them, but I think I'll, maybe. Alright guys, Whew. let's see. So, what I did was I, I had my Raleigh grips on my, on the bars I just took off of here, and I wanted to put my Raleigh grips back on my Raleigh, and my Raleigh had the GT grips. Same kind of grips, same stock kind of grips, but I want to try to keep my Raleigh, uh, with the you know some Raleigh parts but I'm eventually gonna replace them anyway uh, grips on the Raleigh it's just simple stuff so I'm gonna take my knife I'm gonna cut the ends off of these right here so I can slide these on and I can get those bar ends put on so I got one done let's cut the end off Maybe I'll do this in here just as easily. Alright, so we're going to get these on. I guess I'll put the yucky part to the outside. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Hopefully they'll go on smooth. Mm. I'll come over just a bit. Like so. A little bit more. Yeah, something like it. That'll work. Use the old rubbing alcohol trick. It works pretty good.
Hopefully it'll dry out good. Doing good, doing good. Good job. Alright. Now I'm going to put these ugly little things back on. Again, a lot of people don't like them. A lot of people do. Who knows? I like them. Matter of fact, the next bike I get that's more for the road, I'm going to get arrow bars that go in the middle here. And I might get a set of these because I like having multiple places to put my hands on the bars. It makes it a lot more comfortable. A lot more comfy. But these here, I don't know if they're going to go on as easy. We'll see. I may have to work with them a little bit. No, they went right on. There we go. And I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with how everything's kind of doing here once I get everything on. See how I can and hope that this slides on. There we go. Good. Again, everything's going to have to be kind of. You gotta kind of measure things out and make sure things are even. I'll do that once I get everything on there. So far, going pretty good. I'll put these little plugs back in. There we go. And then I'll try to get everything sort of straight. Not going to be super easy with these because there's no. A lot of times you can see through there, and the bar will have like a little line, and you can get it lined up. But these don't have that. So I'm just going to kind of. Eyeball them for now. I'll get things lined up a little better. Okay. Well, there you go. That's how it's done. So we got the bar ends back on, or the horns, or extensions, or whatever you want to call them. I went ahead and put the GT grips on there. I cut off the ends so they'll slide on. Got my levers back on, stems back on, cap, bar, and so on and so forth. So there you go guys. Just a quick little video of me doing some basic maintenance or 
whatever you want to whatever you want to call it <laughs> so everyone I appreciate you watching and please subscribe to my channel give me a like if you don't mind uh, tell your friends and family I'm a I'm a family oriented guy um, I have videos from stuff like this to going and riding on road off road uh, video games I'm um, trying to get into a little bit of the paranormal research a little bit I love that uh, totally believe in spirits a hundred percent and just do basic things I might have discussions on, a, on one video or during a video so it's just a little bit of everything for everybody and I'm out and you guys have a good day get up get out get rad and do it to it guys see ya